So how do you respond to the quantum mechanical argument that it appears that certain particles are almost literally winking in and out of yeah. existence? Let me first respond to Hume on this because I think he's been misunderstood. What Hume said was that you cannot prove the causal principle either by demonstration or intuition. But he said in a letter to John Stewart, um, I never affirmed anything so absurd as that something could come into being without a cause. I only said that it's not proved through demonstration or intuition. Now, in quantum mechanics, things don't come into being out of nothing. The quantum vacuum is definitely not what the layperson means by vacuum, namely a state of nothingness. The quantum vacuum is a sea of roiling energy, having a rich physical structure and governed by physical laws. It is most emphatically not nothing. And therefore, when people like Lawrence Krauss uh, and certain others say, well, the, the modern physics shows that something can come from nothing, this is a deliberate abuse of science uh, and is grossly misrepresentative of, in fact, what the science says. So I'm going to go through one more argument with you, and then I want to talk about the importance of religion as opposed to theology, which are not quite the same thing, because you're mm -hmm. making some some reason-based arguments for the existence of God, but these aren't obviously arguments for Christian revelation or Jewish revelation or no, anything like I that. No, though I do think there are good reasons to be a Christian theist. 